Israeli oncologists have found a unique way to attack malignant tumors, according to new research, with poop. Well, kind of with poop. Doctors say they have successfully fought cancerous tumors by changing the gut microbiome. According to senior oncologist Dr. Ben Borsi, who led the study, immunotherapy currently works for around 40 to 50 percent of patients. Researchers anticipate that with the help of this revolutionary treatment, they'll see as many patients as possible, transforming from non-responders to responders. Adding that this is the first time in the world a study like this has been successfully carried out. Dr. Gal Markle and Erez Baruch worked on the research along with Dr. Ben Borsi, who led the study, and he joins us now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So first of all, please explain to our viewers exactly what is microbiome and how can it change the way tumors are treated according to your research? So we know that the gut bacteria affect us humans in many ways. And among other things, they also affect the development of the immune system. We already knew from previous studies that cancer patients who respond to immunotherapy which is a treatment that simulates the immune system against the disease, have different gut microbiota composition compared to patients who do not respond to treatment. And we also knew from animal models of mice with melanoma, which is a type of aggressive skin cancer, that mice that received gut microbiota from human patients who responded to immunotherapy they also respond to this treatment, while mice that received gut microbiota from human patients who did not respond to immunotherapy, they did not respond to such a treatment. Our study was the first clinical trial in the world to test the safety and feasibility of fecal microbiota transplant in cancer patients in order to reprogram, to modulate their immune system against the disease. Uh, what we've done, we took 10 patients with metastatic melanoma who had exhausted all existing treatment lines and among other things, they failed immunotherapy. And we implanted them with gut microbiota from metastatic melanoma patients that uh, received, uh, from metastatic melanoma patients um, who had recovered from their disease. As part of the study, protocol, we first eliminated the original gut microbiota by using antibiotics in order to allow the engraftment of the transplant. Next, we implanted the donor microbiota through colonoscopy. We wanted to make sure that there is contact between the new microbiota and the gut mucosa. And finally, we resumed the previously failed immunotherapy along with additional microbiota transplant, this time in the form of a tasteless and odorless peels. So when do you foresee that this uh, could be readily available for people who might really need it? You know, we are currently continue to enroll patients uh, in our metastatic melanoma study. We are also adding patients with other diseases, other types of cancer. We recently opened a study for lung cancer, but we also continue the basic science work in the lab in order to understand the biological mechanism behind the immune response and to understand how to match uh, donors with recipients. Uh, you should remember, however, that you know, the composition of the gut microbiota is not the only factor that determine response to treatment. Uh, there are tumors with, with what we call primary resistance to treatment. So for example, because of mutations in cancer genes that prevent the tumor from eliciting an immune response. Uh, in some of the patients in our study uh, who did not respond to, this, to the transplant, we identified such genes. So one should understand the set of factors involved both the genetics of the tumors, the genetic of the host, and the gut uh, microbiota. Okay, Dr. Ben Borsi, thank you so much.